Hi, I'm Nora for eNotes.com and welcome to the video study guide for Othello by William Shakespeare. Is it possible for a man to be more isolated than a black man in a white man's army? Maybe. Make this man not just black but Islamic, at least by birth. Now give him a white wife whose father disapproves. Now set him far from home but also far from active duty so he can't fight or relax. Is that all? No, there's more. Give him a warrior's heart so that when he trusts, he trusts absolutely. And when he loves, he loves with a deep passion. Now let him make one fatal mistake. Let him not realize that one of the men serving under him is out for revenge, boiling with pure evil. Stir all that together and you've got the play Othello and some hint of why it has stunned audiences for 400 years. You see, the character Othello is a classic warrior, a man of action who could defeat any foe if he could just find the foe. Instead, Iago, one of the coldest, darkest characters in literature, manipulates Othello until he no longer trusts his beautiful wife Desdemona, a woman who defied her father for him. Iago deceives this great-hearted fool until Othello doesn't just distrust his wife, he kills her, sure that she's cheated on him with Cassio, the young guy who got the promotion Iago wanted. But that's not the worst moment of the play. The worst moments come before Othello kills Desdemona, when he's so consumed by the thought of her infidelity that he essentially goes crazy. And after he's killed her, when it's revealed that she was innocent and loved him completely, oh, the pain. You don't know where to look. Is it more hypnotic to watch Othello fall apart or to watch Iago ruin almost a dozen lives because he got skipped over for a promotion? Which soul shows us more about being human? I don't know, but if you let yourself think about the question, you'll find yourself watching the play mesmerized again and again.